Hello, it's Rob here from Woodward English. How is everyone? How has your week been? For most of you, it is Friday um, afternoon, evening, night. Here it is 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. My week was good, thank you very much. Okay, so as usual, the first five minutes... We just wait for everyone to come in and say hello. So when you arrive, say hello. Where are you from? What time it is there? And yeah, we'll just say hi in the chat. Today's gonna be it's gonna be quite a lot of fun. We're gonna be talking about dates and dating. AK Hello Anil from Turkey. It's midnight there. <laughs> Uh, I always appreciate it when people come in and they, they stay for a while and it's like really late, sometimes midnight or one o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning. So it usually takes about five minutes for everyone to start coming. So we just say hello. We just have a relaxed conversation. If you're watching this um, lesson, this, this, this video, this conversation later, just fast forward. You know, just go to minute five minutes or six minutes to when the action begins. First part is just relaxing and saying hello to everyone. At the moment, here in New Zealand, Saturday morning, nine o'clock, it's a very, very, very cloudy day, and there is a lot of wind. A lot of wind. Last night, I actually woke up a lot because of the wind and the rain just hitting the house. It was quite, it's not normal, not normal at all. So I woke up a lot last night, so this morning I'm like, uh, <laughs> uh but I have my coffee to, to help me along. Oops, sorry, it's going to make some noises. Hey, and hello, Angie. I don't this. How's it going? Have you got something to drink there? It can be coffee, juice, water, something naughty. <laughs> hello, steady with me. How's it going? Hello, Jaden. How's it going? Right, yep, everyone is starting to arrive. Can you actually write in English, please? Because I don't actually, cannot read Arabic, especially on, on the screen here, okay? So, um, and I need my auto-translate out too, so I know where I can start banning people. <laughs> How's it going? Because this is the opportunity to practice your English, to use your English. Okay, everyone, ba 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 ba, starting to arrive. This is what I love. I love this part. Hello, Bruna. How's it going? It's Angie from Mexico, and it's four o'clock in the afternoon, Friday. Dakane, which is from some, who's from Somalia. Kill him. Good to see you again from Brazil. Hello, study with me. Fabi Cruz. Hello, hi, teacher. Hello, Fabi. Is that short for Fabiola, is it? <laughs> Eva, hello people, Purwanta, hello, hey, Alicia from Poland, how's it going? Nice fruitful meeting for everyone, yeah. Fruitful meaning, do we really say fruitful meaning? You, you could do that, but it sounds very, I don't know, maybe aristocratic or very, yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't normally use it. Ah, from Costa Rica, Michael, oh, I've got my arrow there, Ureña. How's it going? Oh, Jane, um, how am I doing? I'm doing well. I'm a little sleepy this morning because I woke up many times last night, many, many times last night. But I'll be fine because I've got my coffee here. I'll have you. You keep me entertained. I mean, you come to see me and practice in English and everything like that. But I come here because of you because oh, I enjoy talking to you guys. I love reading your comments and everything like that. It's Francisco. Hello, it's nice to hear from you. F and Larissa from Gibraltar again. Good to see you again. I always remember Gibraltar. I always remember Gibraltar. Hello, it's Bruna from Brazil. Island, how's it going? Island or Margarita? Which, which do you prefer? Angelica, great to see you this morning. So glad you could come along. Hello, everyone, and special hi. Hello, oh, Hannah, how's it going from Bratislava? It's good to see you again. I'm an Arab girl, I want to make friends, and I want to learn English. This is the place to practice your English, okay? Every week, almost every week, um, at this time, this day, um, we just have a relaxed conversation with everyone. It's just a relaxed conversation, so, you know, 
talking about whatever topic it is that we have today. Or sometimes we play games like last week was like some grammar games, which are lots of fun. So yeah, this is a great place. And it's Gabby Alves. Hello. Um, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Says um, Sara. How are you, teacher? I'm great, thanks. Hey, Hamilton. Good to see you again. <gasps> I love seeing frequent names that o they come almost every week. It's like, oh, like it's like, like friends. You get to know everyone. So cool. Today is going to be a, a great conversation. It's it's probably going to be a, a good laugh. Uh, yeah, probably going to laugh a lot because we're going to talk about dates and dating. So, hang on. I thought I'd do something here. Yeah, it's going to... Oh, oh. Okay, so... And make sure, study with me, that you write it in English because sometimes you just get deleted, especially when it's not relevant. Okay, let's begin. So, this is not New Zealand, but oh, it is actually cloudy in the picture. But here it's like a, it's not a beautiful morning cloud here in New Zealand. It's just grey, dark grey clouds. It's going to rain a lot today. Anyway, what we're going to talk about is, let's go to the, oh, maybe the website. Ha ha, here it is. I have to find it. If you want to have some ideas of what we're talking about today, I'm going to copy this link for you, and I will put it in the chat. Here it is. Boom. Just for you. Um, what would be an ideal date for you? Places. We're going to talk about places to go on dates. We're going to talk about a blind date. Do you know what a blind date is? More questions about dates and dating and everything like that. So that is more or less what we're going to some of the things we're going to talk about today. Okay, let's go have a look. Ah, first of all, uh, hopefully it's... A, yes, there it is. Excellent. Boom. I have a question for you. For you, Fernando, who just mentioned. Hello, Fernando from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. But you live in New Orleans. Cool. Great to have you along. Okay, so... Here's the conversation question. What would be an ideal date for you? But before you give me your answers, your responses, I have a question for you. And that question is, hang on, I'm going to make a copy of this. Oops. That's not a question, by the way. What is a date? Oh, I forgot to add another one. Ah, anyway. What is a date? Explain to me. What is a date? What is a date? It has different meanings. Ah. And I actually forgot to put a meaning. I just actually realized. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if I can find it somewhere else. I just remembered one because it can actually be a type of, of food or fruit thing. I wonder if it's got a... Is that the room? Ah, here it is. Okay, let's go have a look. Okay, Angie says, it's a romantic meeting. Uh-huh, that could be one option. So we have, okay, let's, what is a date? Um, I'll do it over here. So one, we've got sort of like a, a, a romantic meeting. It could be romantic. It's a, a, a like a, let's go one, it's like a social uh, meeting, meeting. It's the morning, sorry. Social meeting. Um, actually, I'll, I'll copy this one here. It's going to be easier. Yeah, look at this. I'm just going to copy this here. <laughs> okay, look at this. This is one meaning. Especially between two people with a... Ooh. This is one meaning. Can I find someone to practice English language for me in order to prove my level? To teach me the Arabic language and exchange cultures. Well, just join this conversation and, and yeah, join in the conversation here. What is a date? Okay, one meaning, and this is the topic of the conversation today. Maybe a meeting with a doctor, a dentist, and friends. That could be another possibility. Sometimes it's romantic. Most, many times it's romantic. Well, 
not with a doctor or dentist or friends. Norm, it, usually the word date is associated with romantic meaning. Hello, Jommy, Princess, how's it going? It is a social meeting that is planned in advance. Sometimes in advance. Sometimes it just happens and it's like really cool. Especially between two people. Could you have a like, date with three people? That's pretty mm, strange. You can have a date with four people. It's like a double date. We have two couples. You know, one couple and another couple. You can go on double dates. But three people? Eh, that's... Anyway. Between two people who might have a romantic interest or relationship. Okay? They could already be together. They could even be married and go on a date. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> a date is two people that plan to meet together. Yeah, so it's not always romantic. For example, you can have a play date. I just want to make sure. Where is it? Uh, you can have a play date. Should be one word. Just going to double... Oh, two words. Ha! Okay. So you can have a... So sometimes kids, they don't have a romantic date, do they? I hope not. You can have a play date. Sometimes you have a play date with children. Okay? Sometimes, oh, let's have a play date. And the kids are like three, two years old, five years old, and they get together and they play with knives. Ha <laughs> ha! No, they don't. They play with razor blades. No, they play with Lego and toys and have fun and hurt each other and cry and everything like that. That's a play date. And it's not romantic. Unless the parents are like, yes, that is my future daughter-in-law. That is my future son-in-law because I want them to get married in the future. Okay, it's not that. Play date, just kids get together and play. That's it. So it's not always romantic, but normally there is this association of it. And what else we got there? What else? When two people who like each other meet, they can go walking, drinking, speaking. Hopefully not at the same time. <laughs> like trying to speak and drink at the same time is pretty awkward. Uh, put a translation because, okay, I don't, study with me, I don't speak Arabic. Okay, so how can I do a translation if I don't speak Arabic? Simple as that. I can speak Spanish. I can speak rum. Okay, two. What else? So that is one date. It's a social get-together and everything like that. But there is another meaning. Another meaning is this one here. Uh, let me try this one. So that is one. Oh, I'll keep that down here. Just so we can look at it later. Another meaning of date. So everyone, a day of the month or year. Jaden, exactly. You are the master. So here's another one. The day of the year or the month as specified by a number. So you need the number. For example, why is it highlighted like that? Okay, what is today? What, is, what day is it today? Depends where you are in the world. What day is it today? What is the date today? So here's a question. What is the date today? today what is the date today I, I can't remember oops there it is what is the date today anyone what is the date today let me see let me see how you are at writing dates what is the it's the 16th of july is it probably Friday, July 16th. Oh, so you look, did you see those two things there? 16th July or July 16th? Oh, actually, I'm in the future. It's the 17th. <laughs> yes, I live in the future. But what is the order? 16th of July or July 16th? Well, I will show you in a second. Where is it? So look at this. Oh, okay, that's the ideal date. Uh, okay, this is our course. Where did I put it? How to say the date in English. Boom. Okay, I've actually got a good video about this. Oh, that's another way, 1607. But that's in some countries they do that one, Larissa. Aha, look at this. If you want to check this out later, look at this. So, 
first of all, when you give a date, um, Jaden was correct and Angie was correct. What you need are ordinal numbers, okay? Which the ordinal numbers are when you add a, usually a th at the end, like uh, fourth or today's the sixteenth or seventeenth. Remember, add the th to the end. So instead of sixteen, sixteenth. Got saliva there. Seventeenth. Okay, eighteenth, etc. But there's some of them are exceptions, like first, second, third. And then the rest, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th. So when you give a date in English, it's important to use ordinal numbers. Okay? Uh, for example, her birthday is on the 29th. Okay, just be careful of spelling of some of them. Some of them have weird spelling. But, how do we say the date? Look at this chart I made here. It is Saturday, 17th. 17th, not 70th. Of July, yeah, it's Indonesia, so you're in you're in the future too. There are two ways of writing it. Okay, the order is you can say March seven or March seventh. When you say it, you still got to say March seventh, even though that you don't write the th at the end. In American English and in British English, the seventh of March. So it's like that is the order. Okay, uh, like so in the United States, you have the month first. March 7th, for example, but in the rest of the world, it's the 7th of March, okay? But be careful when you write the numbers, because this is March 7th in, in American English, but in British English, or most of the world, it's the day, month, year, so be careful. For example, for me, this is the 3rd of July. It's not the 3rd of July, but in the United States, or United States of America, they have it's they put the month first so be careful of that that's why when you write the dates um yeah probably best to do it in written full form so you don't make a mistake okay a and the year just so you know 1984 2017 what what year are we in i forget 20 last year last uh, we're in 2020 b <laughs> Being Asian, which language should we speak? I don't know, whatever language you like. It doesn't make much of a difference. I'd, I'd go with the, this one here. Because the day, month, year, because that's what's used in the entire, everywhere except for in the United States. Okay? And it's just except, because if you write it this way, for me, this is the 3rd of July. So, I'd just do it this way. It's just a natural way. Why is 9th and 29th as written? Because it's irregular. Ha <laughs> ha. Here it is. Ninth, and where's the other one? Oh no, here it is. Uh, twenty ninth. Yeah, because it's just that's why I've got it in red because these are spelling exceptions. Fifth. Why is it with two an, an F there and not a? We don't say five. No, fifth. Okay. So yeah. So these are just exceptions. So this is yeah. And so this and this one, I've just put a link in there if you want to look at it later. I've got a, a video about it too. Why, yeah, so American or British? Um, yeah, whatever you like. I mean, I wouldn't really worry about it. I mean, when you're writing dates, go for this one, definitely. But just when, like, learning English in general, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Okay, so this is one date. Today is the 17th of... We're in July, aren't we? It's hard to know, that, like... The last number of a couple of years, it's been, what day is it today? I'm not too sure. Yeah, you know, you understand me. Yeah, you know. Okay, so going back to the conversation. Hang on, I've got to find it on my screen. Boom. So we've got a date, which is a specific month of the year. We also have the social meeting. Okay, this is number, let's go, this is number two. A social meeting between two people. But there is another one that I forgot. Yeah, in s I know, um, Alicia, you can go 1607-2021, or in some countries, they have the year, month, and day. Yeah. But in, in, in for example, in New Zealand, what do we use? We just use this one. It is the, was it 16? Uh, six no, we're in the 17th now. Um, July, isn't it? I think, yeah. And you can go 21 or 2021. Okay. That's how it is here. 
Right. Um, so, uh, so if you're watching this video in the future and you're like, oh, that was back in July 2021. That was before the, I know, the zombie attack, <laughs> the alien invasion. They didn't know what was about to happen next week. Oh, <laughs> they didn't, they were so innocent and so happy at that time of their life before the, the zombie attack. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there is another meaning of date. I d haven't put on the website. I forgot to put it on the website. I did this very quickly yesterday. But anyway, there is another one, which is a date. Uh, yeah, I've got to go find it. Uh, no, no. It's actually a type of fruit that comes from a palm tree. Ah, here it is. I'll, I'll write this one here. This is this is, this is a third meaning. Three, boom. I actually like dates. They're yummy. I actually got bought some dates this week. A sticky brown fruit that grows on a tree called a date palm, common in North Africa and West Asia. Okay, so that's another one. It's a type of like a brown fruit, and oh, it's yummy. I actually like it. This, they are sticky. They're nice. Do you like dates? I do. An also name of fruit, Tajur in Hindi. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so it is a, it is the type of fruit. I actually forgot to, to put that. Mostly found in Arab countries. Yes, it's t traditionally associated like with, like even like the, no yeah, North Africa. Duh, there it is. North Africa and or like a lot of the Arab countries. I actually like them. They do have like some type of pip or seed in the middle. But usually you can buy them without that. Okay, but today, if you're waiting for the moment where we talk about dates and dating, this is the part in the lesson where we do that. Okay, so you're out of there. So, it is usually a date. We're going to talk about the romantic dates between two people. But before I begin, what is a blind? We're going to learn lots of vocabulary today. What is a blind age? You are a te are you a teacher? Yes, I am. I've been teaching for God no twenty four years, twenty five years. Can't remember twenty something years. Okay, what is a blind date? What is a blind date? Anyone know what a blind date is? Someone explain a blind date to me. it is let's see hello e2 study how's it going what is a blind date someone explain a blind date to me it's a date in which you haven't seen each other before exactly it's when you go out with someone you don't know Yep, it's a date in the dark. <laughs> there is actually a date where you can you can go to a restaurant and there are no lights, so you you got to like find your cup and you got to try and eat the food, and it's completely dark, black. You can see nothing. You can't see your hand in front of your face. Yeah. So, Gabby, that's that. that yeah. <laughs> a blind date. Hey, hello, Gigan. How's it going? A blind date is when you go out with someone that you've never seen before. Yep. Exactly. You say, are you a teacher? A social engagement, Sarah? It's a little more than that. When you don't physically know the person you're going to date. Yeah. Hello, JJ. How's it going? How's everything there? Is it in, in Sicily? Okay. This is, this is my version. It is a social meeting. It's like a date between p two people who... Dum -dum. This saves me typing. Oh, Okay. Yeah, look at this. This is, the, this is the, the, the official definition that I created. A social meeting between two people who have not previously met. So in the part they've never met. And it is usually arranged... By a mutual acquaintance or friend. 
okay this word here acquaintance let's have a look what does acquaintance mean it's like someone oops sorry it means someone you know I did like a hiccup there strange hiccup an acquaintance is a person that you know but they're not a friend they're not like a close friend you can have lots of acquaintances and just a few friends I've got lots of acquaintances and I have one friend yes and it's my wife <laughs> Hey, I want to know, you want to know my name? My name's Rob, R-O-B. Yeah, there it is. Um, Bye to study. Okay, I don't have that kind of lucky friend who can arrange a blind meeting for me, a blind date for me. You don't have that kind of friend because they know what you're like. It's like, no, I'm not going to recommend my, recommend my, <laughs> recommend my friends to Rob. No. Like, I, I ask my friends, Send me on a blind date, and they're like, no way, I'll get in trouble if I invite you. <laughs> it's Everything's okay, but oh, it's really hot. Thanks for asking. It's sweltering. It's sweltering. That's really hot there. There's actually a lot of, um, probably not, it's not where you are, but there's some, I, I saw there were lots of um, floods in Europe at the moment, because it was raining a lot. But down in, in the south of Italy, where you are, it's, yeah, really, really hot. A2. <laughs> okay, so that is that is the acquaintance. It's like someone that you sort of know. It could be like a workmate too, because they're not really your friend. Or they can be your friend. So that is a blind date. Has anyone here been on a blind date? I've never been on a blind date that I, I don't remember any. I would have remembered. I've never been on a blind date because I don't have friends to recommend. <laughs> uh, when two people they didn't see each other in person, and they decided to meet, and it's usually someone. It's usually a friend or an acquaintance says, "Hey, Rob, you are going to meet with this wonderful person called Angelica, and we're going to get together. You're going to you two get together. You've never met before, and we're going to see what happens." Okay, and that it's like. Yeah. No, nope, you haven't done it? Because your thoughts just come into my mind. Yeah. <laughs> no, no one's been on a blind date here. Come on. Anyone been on a blind date? Or is that just something that exists in movies? Or it just doesn't exist at all? Maybe it's just, it's not the real life. Is it just fantasy? <laughs> is this a real life? Is it just fantasy? <laughs> Anyone? No one's been on a blind date. Nope. Nope. No one's been. On, nope. Old makeup while I hasn't been on on a blind date. I wonder how they are. Like awkward, uncomfortable. I wonder how it would be. It'd be strange. I'd probably be nervous. Like, oh, I don't know you. What do we talk about? Um. Um. Gigan knows. <laughs> My. It only happens in movies, probably. Angie, nope. Aglody, nope. Hi, this is a great topic, but have never been on a blind... You go on a blind date. There's the preposition. Okay. So you can say the preposition we use this. I have never been on a date. I've never been on a date in my entire life. <gasps> okay, I have. I've never been on a date or a blind date. Who else, who else is there? It wouldn't be boring in my opinion. No, it wouldn't be boring. I'd just be nervous, I think. I'd be like, because <gasps> I, okay, you probably don't realize this, but I'm a shy person. Seriously, I'm a shy person. So for me, I'd be like, Oh, what do I say? Okay, it's strange, because here I talk about all types of things. <laughs> I just talk for two hours without stopping. Why can I do that on YouTube? But in person, if you see me in person and I'm quiet, it's not because of you, it's because I'm just n naturally a quiet person, a shy person. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, it, yeah it's interesting. 
Hey, Miriam, how's it going? Good afternoon, teacher. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm from Venezuela. You're talking about meeting people for the first time? Yes, we are. We're talking about dates in general. You don't look shy. I am totally shy. <laughs> but at the same time, okay, I think I'm shy when it's like just one-on-one -on -one or maybe with two people. One-on-one, -on -one maybe. Because there's two people, they can talk, and I'm just smiling there. <laughs> but I've got no problem talking in front of 500 people. I've done it. I've, I've actually I've been on television too, live television, a number of times. And it's like, no problem. But just one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's strange. It's interesting. Really interesting. I need to go, I need to visit a psychiatrist or psychologist or something to try and understand me. Anyway, um, you are my neighbor then, maybe. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah, from Pakistan? Cool. Okay, so no one's been on a blind date. Okay, it is just in movies. They don't really exist. Okay, we've, we've defined this. It, no one's ever done it, so it never happened. Okay, I've got another question for you. I've got some questions for you. What are some places to go on a date? Where's my question mark here? There it is. What are some places to go on? Remember, there's that preposition. I'll, I'll, I'll just highlight it. What are some places to go on a date? And don't say the morgue or the cemetery. <laughs> okay. I've never, okay, Miriam says, I've never been on a blind date either. And I think it is not a good idea. Ooh, because you don't know who that person you're going to be talking to. But when you're on a blind date, usually the other, p the someone that you know recommends them. Which is probably better than, what is it, like Tinder or whatever, those other apps or whatever they are. Like, w with w uh, the Tinder, I don't have Tinder, I don't need it. I've been married for over 20 years or something like that. Just about 20 years. Anyway. But if you have Tinder, I don't know if you swipe left or right or whatever, but you're meeting a person that, that is seriously, that would worry me. Because you don't really know that person. They can put a picture of a dog or a goldfish or something and Or they could say, I am such a wonderful person. Even when I fart, it looks like a rainbow. It's like, no. It's like, you don't know. They could say anything and you don't know if it's true. But when it's a blind date, usually someone knows them. Unless your friend wants to hurt you, yeah. But normally they won't put you in that situation. But those, when you got ah, there's something I need to talk about. Maybe dating applications or something like that. Anyway, let's go see. El Faisa, hello from Belgium. Great. Lorena, how's it going? The coffee bar would be a good idea. A coffee bar, yeah, like a cafe or something like that. That's one. The most common is to go to a restaurant. I think the most common date is probably a restaurant. Yeah. A mall, a shopping center or a mall. The cinema. Yeah, the cinema is another good one. You can go to the park. Exactly. I think the best place for a date is the seaside. Because if you don't like the person, you can throw them to the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry, did I say that out loud? I was thinking it. I wasn't supposed to say that. Anyway, a coffee shop, a movie, um, teacher, a theater, a theater. Be careful of the spelling because the H is at the beginning. Theater. Now, there are two ways of, uh, okay, we're not dead anymore. Be careful, because you can say theater is with it like this, or like this, ER. What's the difference? Oops. Very simple. British English, American English, yeah. Just spelling differences. And in, in American English, they pronounce the final R a lot more. In British English, they don't pronounce the R very much, okay? Anyway. You're out of there. So we've got restaurants. Uh, a party, maybe. Yeah. What type of party? 
come to my grandmother's 90th birthday party. Is that a good idea for a date? <laughs> Get to meet the family. You, you haven't met the person. Come. I'm inviting you to a party. And they get all dressed up and it's like your grandmother's 90th birthday. And they're like, and you pre this is my uncle. This is my cousin. This is my nephew. <laughs> and the person's like, oh, God. Why am I meeting all of the family now? I don't even know the person. Oh. <laughs> um, what else we got there? A party. Restaurant. A restaurant. Okay. Let's put that up here. Here we go. So we've got a restaurant. That's how you spell it. Hi, Rosalba. How's it going? Um, like cafes, good. Meeting with your sweetheart. A museum. That's actually a cool... I would love that. Museum, I think, is a great place for a date. <gasps> Something that I want to do. I want to go to the British Museum. I've never been there. Oh, I'd love to. And the one in Egypt, too. I'd love to go to that one. But anyway... In Cairo. But yeah, a museum would be interesting. Because, like, you have to walk around, you got to, like, talk. Most of the time. You're walking, you're talking, and you're looking at weird things. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Okay, El Faisa says, For me, a nice place to go on a date would be an Irish pub. Oh, that could get messy. An Irish pub. That'd be interesting. Or how about a brewery? Like, you know, where they make Guinness. You do a tour of a place where they make beer. Okay, if, if kids are watching this, um, I'm talking about beer as the animal. Anyway. Um, the beach. So you get to see him in his leopard skin. What do you call them? A <laughs> G-string. <laughs> or her in her bikini. Yeah, if you like. My name, hello, Elia. Okay, uh, from the Dominican Republic. Yes. You've, you've seen you before in here in the chat. Okay, some places to go on a date should be a beach. Yep. A park. Yep. Restaurant. But if it's a blind date, I definitely pick choose a public place where there are vid video cameras. <laughs> because he or she could be a serial killer. Exactly. Yeah, you have to go to a public place. Uh, Miriam says, but in these days, a lot of people arrange to go on a blind date by using the internet. That is so true, Miriam. And not being recommended by a friend. Like, they meet random weird people on the internet. I have some friends. They met on the internet. And they've been married for a long time. Yeah. They met on the internet. They, they fight all the time, but that's another thing. But yeah, and they've been together for married for many years. Yeah, but they met on the internet. Do you know anyone that's met on the internet and they're now married? That's my question for you. Do you know someone that met on the internet and now they're married? <clears throat> um, oh, not a family party. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> like a party party. <laughs> With all the music and substances. Okay. Um, how do you pronounce the word theater? Theater. You should teach more about the I, the New Zealand accent. Actually, New Zealand accent is quite funny. It's quite nasal. I don't have a strong New Zealand accent. Australian have a more of a nasal like <laughs> type accent. But I, when, sometimes people in New Zealand they ask me like, "Where are you from?" I'm like, "I'm from New Zealand." Not so much now. When I first arrived back home after being away for 20 years, I got back to New Zealand. They're like, wow, you don't speak New Zealand English. I'm like, I know, because I haven't been around people that spoke New Zealand English. Mm. Hey, Katie. Was it Katie? Kate, uh, Kate, there it is, from Ukraine. I think you've been here before. A park under the moonlight. Oh. Hope the park's open and you didn't go over the fence. <laughs> uh, my friend met his wife via Twitter. That's awesome. That's cool. I uh, uh, It used to be like this, that people met on internet and then a blind date. But now most of the people don't trust other people. Interesting how it's changed. Yeah, there's some real weirdos there. A public garden? 
Yep. Rosa de Colombia. Hello. You like the class? I'm so glad you like it, Rosa. Um, what do you eat? What do I eat? Nothing at the moment. I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, I'm from Bayran. Cool. Yes, I have a friend. She met the the guy. Is that with a U? Or do you intentionally put it with an A? On Facebook. You met the guy on Facebook. She is Mexican and he is English. After nine months, they got married. Oh, and it's so lovely. <sighs> uh, I'm from El Salvador. How, that's interesting. So they met on Facebook. I never accept any friends or anything like that on Facebook from people I don't know. Or I never met in person. Or sometimes I just have met the person, but I just don't. I just have it for very close friends and family. Yeah. It's like... Um, you're from El Salvador. Oh, cool. I'm great, thanks. Um, yes, I know two different couples with an ass there who who met on via internet and they've been married for several years now. That's cool. I think it's more and more common nowadays. More and more common. At an amusement park. Yeah, you go on the roller coaster and like after the restaurant, don't go on a roller coaster. Just saying. Not talking from personal experience. Just saying. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Ah, that's actually called... In English, it's called a Ferris wheel. Oops. A Ferris wheel. Okay, I'm going to double confirm this because there's a bit of a story behind that one. I'm just going to double check this. A Ferris wheel. Yeah, it's like that big circle one where you sit on it and it goes around very slowly. And I think it's because of the person that created. I just, no, I can't find it. Yeah, so it's like a big wheel and you sit together and you go up to the top and then you can look over the city or town or the village or whatever. Yeah, so that's called a Ferris wheel. So they don't say wheel of fortune. Um, I think you should ask some more questions. Oh, I've got lots of questions here. Um, are you Arabic? You like the channel? Thank you very much. On the beach, of course. Hi from a hello, yummy. I'm going to a restaurant or on a picnic. Okay. How about do you recommend going to a disco or a nightclub? Okay. How about some other alternatives? I have some. I've got some other alternatives here. I want to tell you. How about what about this one? Do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Go to a live performance. For example, a concert. Is that a good idea? <clears throat> Which is the correct form? Correct form of what? Do you think going to a live performance like a concert is a good idea? Why? Why not? What's your own opinion of going on a blind date? Do you think it's a good way to meet someone you look someone you're looking for a husband? <laughs> um, I don't know. If I were single, I don't know, going on blind dates. Maybe? I don't know, just I don't know, it'd be, it'd be weird for me. Do you think it's a good way to meet a, someone you're looking at? Meet a husband? I don't know. If you go on a date looking for a husband or a wife, it's not going to go well, I don't think. You just got to let things happen, naturally. To see the city from the top of the tallest building? Yeah. We were at in a Ferris wheel. On. You're on a Ferris wheel. So the preposition before Ferris wheel is on. As <laughs> yeah, Lorena. Let's go to, I want to invite you to a live performance. It's a Slipknot gig. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, you won't be able to hear the other person. Or one of those ones where like, they start, yeah. <laughs> uh, I need your gum. Yes, going to a concert is an amazing idea. Especially if both people are music lovers. You can go to a classical music, like an orchestra. But you can't talk there because people are like, shh, shut up, shut up. 
Because it's hard to get to, to talk to the person at a concert, maybe. You just go there, have the experience, but maybe after it would be better. I oh, know, you could do in some concerts. Like if you go in the cheap seats, you're, like, you're far from the stage, you can probably talk more. Yeah? Um, what about having a date in an adventurous place? That's a good one. That's a good one. Or like doing some type of adventurous activity. Hey, let's go. What about rock climbing? Is that a good is that a good one for uh is that a good one? Okay, but one uh, I'll see you later. How about rock climbing? Like old old makeup walla mentions an adventurous place. Do you are you referring to rock climbing? Is that a good idea? Hang on, one second. I uh, just want to put some... Yeah, there it is. Thanks, Ange. Thanks, Angelica. Appreciate that. I was just about to do the same thing. <laughs> uh, yes. It depends on what kind of live performance, but this might sound like a good idea if both people li enjoy live music. What happens if the person doesn't like the singer or the band? That's a terrible idea. Rock climbing for a date? <laughs> no, I don't like you. Push! <laughs> well, they push you. I don't like you, Rob. Bye. Bam. Ah, <laughs> I'm afraid of heights. Oh, okay. So not that type of one. Okay, what about this one? How about this recommendation for a bl for a date? Um, take a cooking class together. Is this a good idea or bungee jumping? Oh. That'll be a, going on a date, a bungee jumping date. Did you know the bungee jumping, the modern version, was invented here in New Zealand in Queenstown in 1980-something by a person called A.J. Hackett. Anyway, bungee jumping as a date? <gasps> oh, that'll be terrifying. But if you do it for the first time, you will remember it. Hiking in New Zealand is a great idea. It's a good idea, definitely. There's so many places in New Zealand we can just walk in nature. Here in the city, a city of like one and a half million people, in five minutes I can find a place to walk. 20 minutes is another bush area. Another 30 minutes is another big bush area. With, oh, that's a good idea. Can you throw the person from the abyss if you don't like them? Definitely. Definitely a possibility. You may think it, but don't do it. <laughs> don't try this at home, people. <laughs> Just on the rock face. Okay, so what about taking a cooking lesson together? Yes, I am from New Zealand. Exactly. I was born in New Zealand, educated in New Zealand. Then I left New Zealand when I was 20-something. 20 22, I think. Is a cooking class a good idea? Taking a cooking class together? Is that a good idea? It's a good idea, yeah. That'd be interesting. Because like you're, you're like you're cooking, you're doing something at the same time where you're talking. You're not just like at a restaurant and you're eating and like, okay, we have to have a conversation now. What do we talk about? <laughs> but here you're like creating, inventing things. That could be a, oh, can you pass me the salt? Great conversation. I need more egg. <laughs> There's a, what if, ooh, how about this one? I've, I've got an idea. I've never been on a day where, I've never been, uh, where a cooking class was an idea to do that together. That'd be original, yeah. I think it'd be, it'd be interesting to do that. I don't know where you do it, though. If you're a male, then it's not a good idea. I'm a male. I've got no problem doing it. I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. Okay. I don't know what it's called. But this is where... Is this a good idea? <laughs> Was it go to one of those rooms where you smash things with a baseball bat? <laughs> Is this a good idea for a date? Go to one of those rooms where you smash things with a baseball, you know, and you've got these vases or vases and things you can go. Is that a good idea for a date? <laughs> Do I d is this a good idea or a bad idea? 
Oh, I just thought of another one, one for a date, which is probably a bad idea. Don't invite them to a funeral. Anyway. Okay. Just imagine a, go a guy told me. Told you what? Tell me. It doesn't happen in our country. What's that? The Ah, the cooking ones. Yeah. You can't smash the other person. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, it's like, but, like, you're just there, you're hitting things in this room, and then suddenly the other person starts hitting you. It's like, oh, <laughs> I, I don't like you, Rob, and they start hitting you. So, yeah, probably not a good idea. What you did on the first date with my wife. My wife can answer that. <laughs> I'll let my wife answer it. <laughs> oh, there are just so many dates. So many marvelous experiences. It is so hard to remember the first one. <laughs> um, I went on a blind date with someone. I, I met him. On so I knew I knew him on social media. I was happy and he was a very good man. And then what happens, Somia? Tell us what happened. What happened? <laughs> so many marvelous moments. Yes, yeah, so many marvelous moments. I do remember some, but I cannot say. Not because they're rude, just because they're like ah, special moments. Okay. What about, so, th okay, so this smashing things with a baseball bat, probably not a good idea for a date. Okay, thank you. Ooh, how about this one? This is another one. This is what, this is something I haven't done yet. I'd like to do it. Wine and painting. How about doing this together? Wine and painting. I wonder if my wife would be interested in this. <laughs> Wine and painting. You go there, have three liters of wine. I know, it's like a glass of wine, maybe. And you're painting. Personally, I'd rather go swimming. No, baseball, baseball, not baseball, baseball. Ba There's rooms. There are special rooms we can smash things. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's better your wife didn't know you couldn't answer the question. I do ha I do know the answer. I'm just waiting for my wife to answer. <laughs> Wine and painting. There are events, there are nights where you can have like glasses of wine and you can paint and do things like that. A guy said, I've never seen a girl fit like you, so let's do rock climbing. Okay, let's do it. And then you push them away. Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, so wine and painting. What do you think of that one? There is a thing. I'd rather go on an English, you go on an English lesson. You rather go to hey let's go learn English together, and they say I'm fluent, or they say, "Yeah," <laughs> like I don't understand. Or yeah, learning a language together I think that'd be quite cool, but not for a date. Once you've been dating for a while, you know, like the boyfriend girlfriend stay, or even if you're married, learning a language together can be quite cool. Anyway, um, what about okay? What is this? Horror room is the best idea. Ooh. A horror room. A horror room. Ah, oh, I've never been... I don't like horror things. I've never been to a horror room. Going on a date like that? Ah, you just let me see them scream? <laughs> that, that, that could be interesting, Larissa. That could be interesting. A horror room. Oh, that'd be interesting. Thanks, Makeup Wala. <laughs> then she says, my level is, I got an IELTS 9. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just I just did an IELTS like the other day. I just got a 9 everything. And listening, reading, writing, speaking. It was like, <laughs> yeah. If you both like languages, that'd be an idea. How about this one? This is, this is something... I investigated this one. A progressive dinner. 
What is a progressive dinner? Okay, listen to this. A progressive dinner is where you have the entree, like the, the, the first course at one place. Then you have the main course or the main dish at another restaurant or place. And then you go to a third place for dessert. So you're going to three different places. It's a progressive dinner. Do you like that idea? And then you have drinks at another place. Going to a restaurant just for dessert. No, I've just come for the... Ooh, I know a restaurant where I would go just for the entrees. They have these great prawns. And it's like the spicy sort. Oh, God, so good. And mushrooms and the... With the guy... Oh, yeah. I'd go to that place just for the entrees. Yes, entrees the part before at the beginning. Okay? Um... That's a progressive dinner. That, that's another idea that you can do. You go for the first part. Then you go to the... <laughs> maybe. The, the, you can go for... What was that? Like a nightcap, they call it? Actually, I'm going to look it up. What is a nightcap? Nightcap. I'm going to look this up. A drink, usually take containing alcohol, taken before going to bed. Okay, that's a nightcap. So if you invite someone for a nightcap, it could have another meaning there. Okay, what else we got? Um, I remember my date with one guy in the horror room in the in the park. He ran away from there <laughs> like a terrible rabbit. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so the guy he just like disappeared, like ah, <laughs> like a rabbit. I just imagine a rabbit just like. Tuk, tuk, tuk. <laughs> that's a that's a good description of someone running away. I like that one. <laughs> okay. What about you can go to the zoo? Ooh, a food tour. I like that one. A f it's like a food tour. You could, there In some cities, they do have a tour of typical things of that country. You can, like, visit different places. I remember, like, when I was in, lived in South America... Like in Santiago in Chile, they're like people that organize tours and they go to typical places to try different Chilean food. And, and in Argentina, they got that too. I remember in Buenos Aires, they got that too. And like many cities, they have this where you can like try typical food from certain countries. That's a cool one. Go to work on a date. Yeah, right. What do you call a person who is afraid of ghosts and witches? Chicken? <laughs> I don't know if there's a specific word. Like, I don't like horror movies. I don't, maybe I'm a chicken? <laughs> Someone that is afraid of something. Okay, it's, it's a little bit of a... It's not maybe an insult. Kids use a lot. You're a chicken. Okay, what's that movie? From the 80s. Back to the Future. Marty McFly. You know Marty McFly and Back to the Future? Like they'll say, Are you Chicken McFly? It means, are you afraid? Okay, so if someone's scared of something, you're saying, You're Chicken! Yeah, you're afraid of it. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I've noticed that you, you speak Spanish. Yeah! Like, they go to, like, Siga la Vaca. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love, I love the, the, oh, the, the parrilladas. Oh, which is like the barbecues. And you just eat as much. Okay, I know there are some vegetarians here. I'm sorry, but I'm a carnivore, and I love Argentinian barbecues. Oh, so good. Anyway. Are you Chicken McFly? Yeah. Are you Chicken? Yeah, so when someone is afraid of something. Yeah, I've seen that movie Back to the Future. Um, quiet place. Maybe a beach. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what are some places to go on a date? Chicken. Okay, there's not a place. You don't go to a chicken farm. No. We're just talking about something else. <laughs> uh, how about a zoo? Is that a good idea? Go to the zoo for a date? Maybe. Maybe not. You get to see animals. And then the person is like one of those animal persons like... This is so cruel, the way that they're keeping these animals in the cages, and then the date goes down from there. Anyway, 
but it's a good time to talk mini golf. That's a good one. Now, okay, so you've got mini golf. You've got mini golf. That's a good idea. Mini golf. Do you let the person win? Because I am incredibly talented at mini golf. My skills are are amazing. I'm just the master of the universe when it comes to mini golf. Just don't ask my friends or my family. They they might have a different opinion. But personally, I think I'm good at mini golf. <laughs> okay, but imagine you're good at mini golf. Do you let the other person win? Or do you just go to win? Ha <laughs> ha! I just beat you. Whoa! <laughs> How do you do that? Do you, or do you try and keep it close? What do you do in that situation? Okay. While I'm waiting for your answer, what are some places? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll actually write this one. I'll, uh, here it is. What are some places that are not ideal for a first date? Okay. What are some places that are not ideal for a first date? For example, don't invite someone to a funeral. That's not a good idea. The morgue. Hey, look, I work opening up dead people. Come look and see what I do. No, don't do that. Going to a zoo would be a good idea. Because you, you got a lot of opportunities with the zoo. You're walking a lot. And you just talk and you can see the hippos and elephants. and Yeah. I take advantage and try and teach movements to the other person. Ah, oh, the mini golf. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Eat tacos on the street. Yeah, oh, you're eating tacos and trying not to make a mess. And like, uh, and you got like sauce all down your face and on your shirt. It's like so elegant. It's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, you want to marry me in the future? <laughs> okay, so what are some? Okay, mini golf is a good idea. So, what kind of places do you think are not ideal? Ah, oh, eating tacos on the street. Okay, I see what you did. Yeah, that's not an ideal place for a. Do actually, with my wife, we did actually go to eat some street food. We had some food on the street. It's not the ideal thing, but this is how we roll. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> but we did that. What are some other places that are not ideal for a first date? What? What kind of places? Ah. Uh. Uh, you just beat me to it, Ange. <laughs> so, what other ones? What kind of places do you think are not ideal for a first date? At home. Okay. Let's go on a date. Oh, great. Where are you going to take me? To my house. Oh, that's sort of creepy. <laughs> yep. Come to my house and meet the family. Oh, that's even worse. Come and meet my wife. Oh, <laughs> come and meet my husband. Oh, <laughs> no, that's terrible. Yeah, so you don't you meet them. Yeah, come and meet my twenty children. <laughs> or you can say, come to my house and meet my. I've got actually got twenty cats. <laughs> I've got twenty cats. Come and meet my cats, and I'll tell you all about my cat. <laughs> I'm a cat man. <laughs> you got a cat lady? You got a cat man? Is that what they're called? Nelson. You talking about Nelson, New Zealand? <laughs> There's actually a town called Nelson here in New Zealand. It's at the top of the South Island. Your grandparents' house. Oh, especially if your grandparents fart a lot. Did I just say that? Sorry. So, yes, yeah, like... 
come, let's go on a date, go visit my grandparents, or it's like, <gasps> you're trying to, a wedding, a wedding for a f not ideal, I don't know, weddings can be fun, a wedding could be fun, actually, because you got lots of free food, free drink, and you only know like one or two of the people sometimes. Unless it's your wedding. You don't invite them to your wedding? No. That's not a good idea. But someone else's wedding? Yeah, that'd be good. Bungee jumping if they're afraid of heights. Yes. Actually, all right. Heights. There it is. Bungee jumping? That, that's that's going to be a hard one. But you'll remember places that are not ideal for a first date are places where he has been before with his ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend. Ooh. Exactly. For example, and then you say, Oh, I've been here before. It was with my ex. Ah. <laughs> your wedding. No, don't invite them to your wedding. Not a good idea. <clears throat> okay, I've got some more questions for you. More questions. Just trying to think. Yeah, it's like... Okay, here's another one. What things should you never do on a date? What are some things you should never do on a date? What are some things you should <clears throat> never do on a date? What are some things you should never do on a date? Oh. Mini golf? No, nope. that was just from before. Don't, I don't know, pick your nose. Okay, just save it for your home. Yeah. No, don't worry, JJ. Don't worry, say here his because, yep. Don't worry. <laughs> I just like, I always like give all the different alternatives. Don't pick your nose. Well, you got your finger, you put up your nose, and then you come out with a surprise. Don't do that. Not recommended. It's pretty disgusting. And don't. It's, and if you do that, don't put it on the curtain. That's even worse. <laughs> so don't pick your nose. What else should you not do? Don't show up late. Oh, that's a good one. How late? Can you be like two minutes late? Or half an hour late? Oh, no. Yeah, don't show up late. That's a good one. Don't show up late. That's a good... Okay, show up. Phrasal verb means to appear, to arrive. Don't show up. Oops, late. I mean, it means don't appear late. Don't, don't talk about your exes. Oh, that's another one. Don't talk about all 59 of your exes. Oh, um, don't talk about your exes. Yeah. Oh, wow. You just look like my ex who did. Oh, no, you look, you're, you're, you're almost as attractive as my ex. Oh, or what's, an, what's something else that's really terrible to say? Oh, you laugh just like my ex. Or you. <laughs> Terrible places, a basement. <laughs> hey, I'm going to invite you on a date. Where are we going? To my basement. Oh. <laughs> to the red room. Okay, some of you know what a red room is. It was in a movie. That's all I'm saying. Maybe it's okay if you don't make her... Wait for five minutes. Yeah. But if it's like 30 minutes, hey, Baskerville, great to see you. How's everything in, in Barcelona? How's everything? Um, so what else? What should you never do on a date? What do you think? So don't talk about your exes. Don't pick, you know, don't show up late. Don't appear late. What are some other things? Recommendations. Don't. Oh, okay. I just thought of one. I just date is a long, long time ago to me. Nice to see you too. Yeah, we're just talking about date.
But if you're married, you can go on dates. You can be married and you can still go on a date. You have to have these like romantic moments to maintain the fly, <laughs> the flyer, <laughs> the fire. I was going to say flames. But that sounds like painful. So the fire, the spark. Yes, you can go on dates when you're married still. Like we yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget your wallet, boys. Oh, imagine. Let's go to the restaurant. Oh, imagine that. You invite someone to the restaurant. Come to the restaurant. And then, I'm just going to go to the toilet. And then you go. Oh, and the other person's waiting and waiting. And then they have to pay. Oh, that is the worst thing ever. That's terrible. That, that did happen. I read something about that. There was a guy... A very handsome, attractive guy. And he did this. It was in the newspaper. He would invite some ladies to the restaurant. And the lady's like, ah, oh, he's really handsome and nice and good looking. Oh, and he's rich. Oh. And then he would go to the toilet and then he'd disappear. And the girl or the lady would have to pay for everything. That's terrible. Anyway. Um, what else we got? Yeah, so don't forget your wallet. Never go 15 minutes late to a date. 14 minutes is okay. 15 minutes? No. Don't talk too much. Fabby says don't talk too much. <gasps> oh, and like me, I talk a lot. Okay, when I'm live, I talk a lot. But in my own little universe, I'm very quiet. <laughs> never is never. Never be late. Yeah, never be late. Never. Just don't be late. On a date. Don't talk too much on a date. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I thought you were don't talk too much, Rob. No, I know. You're talking about a date. You shouldn't lie to your partner or be self-centered. That's a good one. Don't lie. Don't lie to the... Are they your partner? Yeah, don't lie to the other person. Because if you say partner, partner normally you already uh, have some type of commitment. They could be your boyfriend, has um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. They're your partner. Yeah. Because if you lie on a date, one, you have to remember that lie. Or two, yes, that's, yeah. <laughs> Don't eat cheese or garlic. Garlic, you know those garlic mussels? Yeah, garlic. If you like to kiss later. <laughs> what is what are some other food that was like has a real bad smell? Yeah, don't check your phone while the other person is talking to you. That, that. Yeah, definitely. That is a total. Yeah, the crowd's going wild there. <clears throat> when you're on a date, it, okay, not necessarily a date. If you're out with other people, don't check your phone. Because if you're checking your phone, it means that other people are more important than the person in front of you. You don't need to check your phone. Why? It's like, that's a great one. It's like, if they start... Doing that now, like nowadays, I wonder how common that is. I wonder how common it is. Anyway, next question. I've got another question for you. I don't try to impress my date. I never hide who I am. And that's how you should be. If they do, from the beginning, you should be you. You should be yourself. Do not... Try to be someone that you're not. Do not try to show a side of you that you're not. Because later, it's like, yeah. They need to accept you from the... And if they don't accept you like you are from the beginning, well, then... Okay, another question for you is this one. Um, how do I say this? 
do you do you how can I say it split the bill when you are on a date or I could say it another way who should pay for a date for example a restaurant okay to split the bill okay to split means to divide in two or more okay to split means to divide in two or more and the bill is like you know at the end of the meal you're at the restaurant and <gasps> 700 dollars oh god do you split the bill it means divide it so i pay half and the other person pays half who should pay for a date okay let's get into this be careful never meet meet your boss boss's secretary oh yeah that could be a bad thing don't get in the car with anyone who's been drinking that is not just for dates that is for life in general if the person has been drinking never get into the car walk get an uber or taxi or whatever don't leave with someone else <laughs> yeah i don't recommend leaving with another person because it's yeah it's probably doesn't look good <laughs> or you go <laughs> to the uh, wrong table oh you're not my date oh this is my date sorry but yeah, I, I like you more oh <laughs> don't drink too much alcohol <gasps> oh you should have told me that before <laughs> yeah because you know yeah yeah that's for sure but most people are shallow these days yeah some people are shallow that's a good word they're not very profound they like try to be show a side of them that they're not there's a bit of lag at the moment i think anyway who should pay for a date do you split the bill when you're on a date who pays basically this is going to be interesting no one's mentioned anything yet because there's there's some a lot of delay today anyway no one wants to comment everyone's like <laughs> No one wants to comment. No one wants to to say anything. I don't split the bill. <laughs> I pretend to go to the bathroom and uh, never come back. Oh, it's interesting. Whenever the bill arrives, someone sometimes goes to the. Oh, there is because the, the, the shows. I don't want to pay for the bill. Split is beautiful. Yeah. Ah, there's another expression that is used, which is to go Dutch. I don't use it very much. To go Dutch. I'm not too sure what part, what country uses it. To go Dutch means to divide the bill in half. It's a, like an idiomatic expression. I mean, I know it. I know of it. I haven't heard it very much here in New Zealand. To go Dutch. Men always pay on a date. <laughs> Any comments about that? Or are we gonna? Is everyone gonna start fighting? <laughs> okay, I've got another question. Those crickets agreeing with MG. Men always have to pay on a date. Oh. <laughs> okay. Any any other comments there? Before it starts getting no no no. Okay. Here's another question. How old were you when you went on your first date? I asked him to pay half the bill. That's nice of you, Fevy.
Elias, where are you from? <laughs> How old were you when you went on your first date? Have you been on a first date? I never split on a date. I prefer to pay for both as long as it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Yeah. Oh, you're paying. Sweet. Can I have that bottle of champagne from 1856, please? Yes, the one that's got lots of zeros at the end. Thank you. That's my favorite. <laughs> and some caviar, please. I've never had caviar, but I think now's the time I want to try it. Because he's paying. <laughs> okay, how old were you when you went on your first date? Now, I've got to try and think of this. I honestly cannot remember a first date. can't remember anything like it didn't it like it from school or anything like didn't have anything like that at school God, I can't remember at all I can't remember oh it depends on who invited yeah that's interesting Larissa in some countries I know the person that invites you is the person that pays for example I know like if I invite you like, if I'm in, like, I don't know, like in Chile, for example, I invite you, I pay. If the other person invites me, they pay. So in some countries, it's like that. In New Zealand, I think, it's like, I don't know, actually. I think it's like half and half, I have no idea. Anyway. I find a good idea to split the bill because the man doesn't expect anything for later. Ah, unfortunately not everyone. But most of the men, at least Italian men, think that paying the bill means pretending. Ah. I was 13 years old. Jesus Carlos de la Puente Garcia. I was 13 years old. On your first date. Tell us about your first date. What, what was it? Where did you go? What did you do? Gigan, I was 15 years old for your first date. Where? Where did you go? What did you do? It was so long ago, I can't remember. It's like me. Aglo. I do not remember, honestly, I do not remember my first date. This is like... Maybe like 30-something years ago, maybe? No idea. I can't remember my first date. Because there was no one before my wife. <laughs> the thing is, if I say I can't remember, so, okay, so there's no one before your wife, but you're saying you don't remember? So you don't remember your first date with your wife? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was many moons ago. It was a very long time. Do you remember what you did? Tell me. So you're, you're 15 years old, 13 years old. What did you do? Where did you go? <laughs> I was 13 years old. We went to a strip club. Oh, no. <laughs> we went to a pub. <laughs> we went skating. We went... My first date was about at 22 years old. Okay, cool. And what, what, what did you do? Okay, a lot of people in the chat, they're probably like, no, my husband is there. I can't tell you. It was such a wonderful time. Oh, so much better than now. <laughs> but I can't say this because my husband is watching my comments. Oh, or my wife is watching my comments. Oh, <laughs> don't be afraid. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay. Or maybe here's another one. At what age do you think that dating should begin? How old do you think you should be? Should, should you be allowed to have a date when you're five years old? Ten years old? Thirteen years old? <gasps> My first date was when you're 17, MG. What did you do? What was your, how was your first date? Was it a good experience? Was it a bad experience? 13 
<laughs> so Larissa, so what did you, what did you, wow, there's like a delay of like 30 seconds or something here, there's a big delay. So you're 13 years old, what did you do, where did you go, was it a good experience, was it a bad experience? I don't remember because it wasn't my wife. Excellent answer. I'm going to use it. <laughs> I don't remember. It wasn't my... It was like anything before my wife did not exist. It didn't happen. Nothing happened. My life began when I met my wife. <laughs> That's a, that, was, that was good. That was good. That was good. How do you say when you want to pay the full bill? Can I say, don't worry, I'll pay because I invited you. Yeah, you can say that if you like. Yeah, you can do that. I, I, you can say, I would say that. Don't worry, I'll pay. I invited. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you can totally say that, Miriam. No, I, I would say that. I would definitely say that. You have another phrase for it? Uh, don't worry, I'll pay. You're... Be, I, I, you're my, you're my guest. Yeah, but I would say exactly what you did. I don't remember what I ate for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that happens in old age. I can't remember where I went on my first date. No, seriously. I think... Oh, I was 17. Sweet lips. Ooh. Are you saying what happened on the date? With the... <laughs> I was 18 years old. Hey, Umubaka. Good night. Good evening. How's it? What do you say when you want the other person to pay the bill? <laughs> you say, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> I'll pay you back. <laughs> what do you say when you want the other person to pay the bill? You say, Can you pay for me, please? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what situation you would say that. Oh, I'm broke. Oh, you can say that. I'm broke. Well, if you're broke, you shouldn't go in the first place. Okay, this is like an informal expression. I'm broke. Means, okay, I have no money. I'm broke means i have no money i'm broke i've got i have no money i've got no money it was so so because i couldn't kiss her oh but was the experience good <laughs> i remember all things we did and said to us oh you remember them all oh <gasps> it, it, so it holds a special place in your heart are you still with that person are you still with the person? At what age do you think dating should begin? Should you date when you're 10 years old? And I will, I will say it another way. What about your children? I'm sorry. My children cannot date until they're 30. <laughs> nope, you're not 30 years old yet. You can't go on a date. Sorry. <laughs> I still remember as if it was yesterday. We went to a movie theater. Then we had lunch together. Unfortunately, it didn't last long because I didn't have a crush on her. Oh, most unfortunate. So we went to the movie theater and we had lunch together. But you didn't have a crush on the person. They invited you. Uh, that's sad. I need violins. I need some violin sound effects. I was 13 years old. We went to the cinema and ate some pizza. Oh. Did you have pizza at the cinema? And the people were like, what's that smell? It was uh, you had pizza afterwards. That sounds like a cool thing. Actually, I remember. Now I remember. Ah. I was 16. But it wasn't a date. I invited my friends to have pizza. Because I had a job and I was 16. And I actually had some money and they're like, sweet, I'm going to go waste my money on random people. No, on friends. Or people I knew. And I said, let's go have some pizza. But that's not a date. 
If the other person forgets the wallet, you can say, okay, don't worry. <laughs> you can always sell your clothes. Or you can say, don't worry, I'm sure they need someone else to help in the kitchen. <laughs> or say, I'll buy your jacket for you. For $20, I'll buy your jacket. What do you do? If both of you forgot your wallet, oh, what happens? You started, Yolanda says you started at 15. Yummy says, I was 18 years old. And I and my partner are still together. Oh, that's so nice. So you can talk about it, sweet. We usually go out on a date two or three times a month. Two or three times a month. Perfect. Obviously, my boyfriend ah pays the date. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's good. That's excellent. So you're 18 and a half now? <laughs> you're not 19 yet. <laughs> That's why you remember. On my first, I was 15, Lali. What happened? And, and, and Lily, don't drink a lot. Ah. You're, you're with the last question. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to do. So on your first one, you're 15. 15, and when did you finish it? <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, I, I cannot remember any. It depends on, on it depends because all people don't mature at the same age. Great response, Jesus. Because, yeah, some people are mature when they're like five, like in my case. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, my friends disagree. Yeah, but some people are mature when they're like 13, and some people, are, they're 20 years old and they're still not mature, so... So you're saying like you need to be mature before you go on a date? That makes sense, that's logical. Okay, I've got a question for you. I've got another question for you. If you could go out on a date with anyone, who would it be? I know exactly who it would be. For my case, it would be my wife. <laughs> but you, apart from your wife or your husband or your lover or your boyfriend, girlfriend or whatever, it cannot be that person that you're with now. It has to be someone else. A date is, doesn't necessarily need to be a romantic. It doesn't need to be romantic. Just so you know, if you could go out on a date with anyone, who would it be with? Who would it be with? Yeah. Who would it be with? Some people don't like putting prepositions at the end. Anyway. And it's, oh, and um, Larissa. It's because a bad experience because the boy liked my best friend. Oh, and he wants to ask me about what she likes. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible. So sorry, lady, so that it happened. It's his loss. It is his loss. Okay, so we got Giga and says Emma Watson. You'd go on a date with Emma Watson. Why? So you can just talk about Harry Potter or... <laughs> An English native speaker. Yep. That's a good one. So you can go practice your English. Yeah, I'm not interested in Emma Watson. I just want to practice English with her. <laughs> Lally, my, my, my husband. My husband. You're thinking about marido as husband. Because married is casado. My husband. I guess over 18 years ago. Chewbacca! <laughs> Great conversations. I can't, okay. You're trying to make me do a Chewbacca, imp a Chewbacca impersonation. Okay, I'm going to remove the microphone just for a moment to practice. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do a Chewbacca impersonation. Okay. Make sure no one is around you. Make sure you're not in a cafe right now. Try and do a Chewbacca impersonation. It's difficult. Seriously, it's difficult. 
you you have that sound in your head. It's like a beat. I can't do it. I bet you try it now. Unless you're at a cafe or a restaurant or something, <laughs> a cyber cafe or whatever, and people will start looking at you like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> so you'd go on a date with Chewbacca. That conversation would be fascinating. Would you be able to understand Chewbacca? You could play chess with him, but just let him win. Let the Wookiee win. Always let the Wookiee win. So if you're gonna play, you make sure you pay the bill. Otherwise, the uh, 18 years old, camping at school. That was your first date. Hmm, how did that go? Someone you can understand each other very well and have a good time laugh with. Give me the name of a famous person. Okay, choose a famous person. Who would I go on a date with? Someone I want to learn something with from. Learn about their experiences. Probably something like random, like the Queen. The Queen of England. Because a date does not need to be romantic. Because I have no romantic interest in... Sorry for my spaces, I shouldn't do that. But I have no romantic interest in the Queen. Oh, God, just thinking about it. Anyway, but it would be interesting... Just to talk and just to learn from the experiences and to have that conversation about her life, her style, her world, which is completely different from me because I don't live in a palace. No, definitely not. And I don't have people that serve or I don't have. Yeah, that'll be interesting. The Queen of England before she dies. Just because she's been. She's like 90 years old or something. And she's like got like so much experience. And yeah, that'd be interesting. It does not need to be a romantic date. I'd probably yeah, choose the queen. Uh, I do a Trebek impersonation every morning <laughs> when I wake up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, like, oh, oh. yeah, that's actually a good one. Yeah, it's like you're yawning in the morning. With my hubby. Oh, that sounds so good. But I said no husband, no wife. You have to choose someone else. It doesn't need to be romantic. Like, I chose the queen. Because I can't think of anyone else. Who else would there? I'm trying to think. It would be with Cleopatra. So you'd be having a date with a sarcophagus. Like she's she's wrapped up in... Is she, no, she's not wrapped up in mummy. That's like stereotypical things. Like she's in a... <laughs> if she were alive, yes. <laughs> if she were alive, Cleopatra. Might be difficult if you don't speak ancient Egyptian. <laughs> If you could speak the same language, that'd be interesting, maybe. Yeah. They say that Cleopatra was the most one of the most beautiful women of the time. But at that time, maybe everyone was ugly, too, so... And they had no expectations. <laughs> the bar was low. The bar was low. There was no Botox or, or s plastic surgery, so the bar... <laughs> Okay, here it is. Aglo. Oh my god, Mary. <laughs> so you're at a cafe. Oh my god, you did that you did that so well. Marry me immediately. <laughs> Some random person at that cafe is The Queen of England is a sexy lady, maybe for you. Maybe for you. But I I'd love to learn about her experiences. I think that'd be fascinating. I I think like I'd ask things like, "Why did you kill Princess Diana?" Oh, that'll get. Oh, okay. Anyway, no one else is saying choose a famous person. Okay, Giggins already mentioned Emma Watson. Aglo's mentioned Chewbacca. Larissa, I'm sorry, you can't choose your hubby. You got to choose someone else. Who's it gonna be?
before I put my next question. Okay, I'm going to put the next question anyway. Another one. Boom! Emma Stone! Raphael! Emma Stone! Yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Why? 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 Here's the next question while I'm waiting, because there's a bit of delay in the chat today for some reason. Anyway, what place would you recommend for a date in your hometown? Okay, the place where you live, or where you're brought up. I'll go on a date with Maluma. <laughs> Why Maluma? Is it because of his... His... Way with words? <laughs> his... <laughs> yes! Ooh, I've, I've been there. I've been there. Oh, my, yeah, my wife and I have been there. I would go on a date with Maluma Sherlock Holmes. That could be interesting. Yeah. So you would recommend someone go to Sigalavaka. That's like a classic restaurant, meat restaurant in in oh what's that part of the it's next to the river. I forget what that sector is called in Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Ooh, I don't like saying it like that, but that's how you say it. Jim Carrey! That'd be cool. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be interesting, JJ. Hi, Heavy. How's it going? Good to see you again. So, what place would you recommend for a date in your home down? And you're just eating. Yeah, Puerto Madero. That's the place. That's the one. Thank you, Heavy. I like all of you too. You guys are awesome. What place would you recommend for a date in your hometown? What place would you recommend for a date in your hometown? Okay, I am in... I don't have a hometown. I'm just going to say it's Auckland, where I live right now. I would say, for a date, I would go down to the waterfront of Auckland which is like next to the water. There are lots of like restaurants and it's a nice place to just watch the people go by and to see the water and the ships. And then from there, you know, choose one of those places and then go to Mission Bay where you like the, you got like a beach there. And then from there you can go off to, for a walk in the, in the forest or something like that. That'd be cool. That's what I'd recommend in my hometown of Auckland because you can do all of these things. <gasps> okay, Aglo says, El Castillo de... Oh, I'm going to try and pronounce it. El Castillo de... Chapultepec. No, I just have to say it quickly, which is not going to happen. That castle. There's a castle in Mexico. That'd be cool. Oh, I'd like to visit that. That'd be nice. I, l I like visiting places like that. I like castles in general. I'm going to Google that later. I will put that in Google. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google it now because I'm interested to find it. Okay, let's let's go have a look. Uh, Googling El Castillo, there that were, and ooh, oh, that's pretty. That is not what I expected. Wow, the gardens and everything there are beautiful. Okay, anyway, actually, okay, look at this. Um, one second, I'm gonna copy this. I was gonna. I'm gonna. I'll show you some of this. Where is it? Um, here it is. I was gonna. I'll show you one second. Boom. Uh, I've got to show you on the website. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, that's actually a cool place. It's like a castle. Whose castle is this? Is it private or government? Or, ooh, look at that. Look at the look at the windows and things there. That's like really cool. That's like, and that, that'd be an interesting place for a first date. Yep. I accept invitations. Any wives listening? Okay, my wife. <laughs> Is there a wife listening? I, I will accept a date here, just so you know. 
Okay, go back to... The person I'd really love going on a date with is the famous singer Mariah Carey. She's so sing... She's so singing. <laughs> I read something that was not there. I was just thinking, she's a singer. She's so gorgeous. But uh, that I won't happen because we don't have the same walk of life. You never know. You never know. In Mexico, I recommend... Was that someone else remember recommending the same place? Fabi also recommended the same place. There's a lake, a park, and a zoo. <gasps> oh man, I'm gonna I've still got it on my screen here. Oh definitely. Oh wow, that's cool. Hello, Julia or Julia from Peru. And now it's a museum. I recommend visiting Cusco in Peru. That'd be cool. And then from there you can take the train up to Machu Picchu. Ah. I'm, I, that's on my list. Cusco is on our list. I will go to Cusco. 100% certain. Just not now because of what's happening in the world. Oh, the best place for a day is Santa Catalina Monastery. In Arequip Arequipa. Oh, okay. Let's go and have a look. Hopefully it's not like a strip club that I'm searching for. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Ooh, okay, okay. Look at this. This is the Santa Catalina Monastery. What can you do there? It's oh, silencio, be quiet. So you're going here on a first date. That's quite interesting. Is there somewhere I can eat there? I got, I got to have food or something to drink too. Fascinating. Okay. <laughs> There it is. Yeah, Arequipa. That's the one. When you want to come to Mexico, waiting with it open. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely. I've got some good friends in Mexico, too. I'm here, and now I'm not here. <laughs> it's like to be and not to be. Santa Catalina is a little city in Arequipa. Ah, okay. It looks nice, actually. Arequipa is actually a beautiful place from what I've seen in the past. Anyway, let's go. Where's my page? Let's go back to my one. Yes, Machu Picchu and Cusco. The Nazca Lines in Ica and the, the, the Tarapoto City in Peru. I recommend The Rock. Ah, The Rock in Gibraltar. Yeah. That's where the monkeys are. There's a museum, historical tunnels. And a beautiful cave. I was in Gibraltar like for like, like five hours or four hours, I think. No less. Three hours. I could only spend three hours in Gibraltar because I was in was it Algeciras? I think it is. And from there, I quickly went to Gibraltar, and but it was late and things were closed. Like no, so I couldn't see very much, and then I had to go somewhere else. But yeah, I'd love to return there and definitely visit the rock and the monkeys. And, oh, historic tunnels and beautiful cafes. Oh, come to Catalonia. There are wonderful places. Okay, but in your city, what would you recommend specifically in Catalonia? What would you recommend, Lali, on the first date? What would you recommend specifically? Well, actually, I'll, send, I'll see if I can find Auckland Waterfront. Can I show you that? Oh, yes, I'm going to show you that. This is my home city. This is where I'm from. Ah, this is a bridge. This is a bridge that opens up and closes so boats can come through. We've got the Sky Tower there. Can I open this up bigger? Uh and this is the, actually they started doing this. It's not completely ready. There is no stadium there at the moment. But yeah, this is the waterfront. There is no stadium. They want to make a stadium, but I don't know if they can. But it's actually beautiful. And you can get the Sky Tower here in Auckland. And you can, that's another thing, unless you don't like heights. And you can view the entire city. It's great. But yeah, I would definitely recommend that. I would definitely recommend that. Okay, let's go back to... This one here. Okay, I'm going to look for that one. 
What is that? Ognina. What is Ognina? <gasps> I've got a place in Sicily. Sicily. The Bay of Ognina? I've got lots of places in Sicily. Talking about Catalina. Ah. Ah, Catania. Ah. Yes, I thought it was. I thought it was Lali that was talking about. It. I'm like, what? But this is Sicily. Okay, let's go have a look at this. Okay, this is. Uh, where's the website? Here it is. <gasps> this is actually beautiful. Look at the water. I know someone that would love this crystal clear water. I'm pretty sure I know. That looks actually nice. Yeah, that's cool. My voice is so far, far. Sometimes it is, is. Thank you for letting me know, no. I recommend The Rock. The Rock. In Fast and Furious. I oh, know the actual rock. The monkeys live. The, where the monkeys live. There, are, there, there is a museum. There are tunnels. Beautiful cafe with wonderful views. Wonderful views. Okay, here's another one. Maybe Galata Tower in Istanbul. According to the belief, whoever there you go with, you will marry. Oh, just don't go up with your brother or sister that's disgusting okay hang on let's have a look ah so that is the story actually there's another there's something similar there oh no that that's not okay so this is the galata tower in istanbul well that looks actually i'd love i'd like to visit that too i i want to visit so many places okay and We've got lots of places for our next date. Okay, they're in other parts of the world, but that's beside the point. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I know, Brussels. And what's what's the what's the main square called? The main square of Brussels is actually beautiful. Really beautiful. And they have a flower like a flower event every two years or so. It's just carpet of flowers and it's beautiful designs and everything like that. That'd be a good thing to go to on a first date. Okay, so let's go back to the conversation. Yeah, as a date, definitely go up there on a date. That'd be awesome. Thing is, you're going to marry that person. Oh. <laughs> Um, okay, so on this on the website, which is here it is. I'll just copy it again. We've got some more questions. You can use these questions if you're an English teacher, you can use these questions in class. Okay? You can use these questions in class. I only did some of the questions. Here it is. We've got more questions down here. Places to go, more questions about dates and datings. Okay, dating. Little by little, we're going through all of the questions. I wonder what the next... Okay, the next question is question 14. I'm not too sure what it is. We'll see that sometime. Yeah. Anyway. Let's go back to here. I would go uh, out with an actor watching the sunset and drinking cocktails on... Uh, in a luxury hotel, no, in a luxury hotel on Rhodes Island, in the center of this ancient city built by Roman. That actually sounds really good, ever. But which actor? Which actor? Specify the actor. I'm curious. Watching the sunset oh, from a luxury hotel, drinking cocktails. Oh, this sounds so good. <laughs> in the center of this ancient city built by Romans. That'd be cool. Okay, so we're just going to leave it like that for today. We talked about dates, dating. I hope you learned some vocabulary. But more importantly, I hope you enjoyed the opportunity to practice using your English. I hope you, yeah, I hope you found it useful. Next week, we will probably play some type of game like a grammar error analysis game or something like that. A date after a breakup. Oh, I probably don't want to do that. So next week, not too sure what we're going to do next week. But it's probably going to be something to do like an English error analysis. Maybe a game with vocabulary. We will see. Like what I want to do is do the conversation every two weeks. 
Okay, so next week will be something different, just so we can vary every now and then. And I just want to double check. Um, let's go to conversation question. There it is. So thanks everyone for dropping by and participating today. It's always good when people give their comments and we have a good time in the in the chat there. Thank you, JJ, for coming along today and joining in. Happy you enjoy your 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 weekend there in Sicily. Yummy, we're here where I live is a small village, so you have two options. Go to on a date at the restaurant, we can taste delicious meals or drum roll or Aglo, thanks for your lesson. Thank you. I hope you can join in next week. Aglo, be really cool. I'm waiting for Yummy's comments. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Faisa. Thank you for coming along. Hope to see everyone again next week. Thank you, Angelica, for paying attention to everyone. Thank you, July, Julio. <laughs> hey, Jorge, you didn't give any recommendations for dates. Okay, um, before we go, Jorge, if you could go out on a date with anyone, not your wife, who would it be? I'm not trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> or you can go on a date near the river. We can enjoy lovely landscape. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Thanks, Fevi, for dropping by. Thanks, Brian Bellet. Thank you. Thanks, Gabriella. So good. So since we're talking about dates and dating and learning a lot of vocabulary and everything like that, here we go. Here's some hearts for you. She is with me. Sorry, mate. <laughs> it doesn't need to be romantic date. <laughs> it can be any... It can be... I said I was going to have a date with the Queen of England. That is not romantic at all. It is not romantic. But it would be interesting to learn from the experiences. Going on a date with someone that's like 95 years old is not romantic. But you could have a good time. No, that sounded strange. No, you could learn lots of cool things. <laughs> you still have an opportunity, Jorge. You still have an In the Discord, let me know. There's no interesting place in my small town, to be fair to me at least. Oh, unfortunate, Rafael. Anyway, we're going to leave it like that. Some of you are behind on the chat there, but you'll catch up. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and have an awesome day. You would be king. 